Hello and welcome, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video I'm reviewing the iPod Touch 5th generation 2014 model 16 gigabytes. In here I have the iPod Touch, it comes in this box, quite a nice slim line box. As you can see the 16 gigabyte version there. This is my daughter's iPod Touch and uh, let's take it off. Here we go. And let's put it aside just for a second to see what we get in the box. So, in the box you get the manual, which has got little bits and bobs of information. You also get two Apple stickers and some more iPod Touch information there. And also you get lightning cable, so USB to lightning, and also the AirPods from Apple. But the only difference to the iPhone ones is that these ones don't have a control and don't have a microphone, so they are just the headphones, as you can see there. Okay, let's, let's have a look at the iPod Touch itself. So, as you can see, extremely slim, really, really beautifully crafted. Uh, we're gonna go around the, the iPod Touch just so you can see. So, on the top, we have the power button. On the left-hand side, you've got the volume rocker. On the right-hand side, completely clear. At the bottom, we have the speaker grill lightning connector and three and a half millimeter headphone jack at the back we have this is where the wi-fi antenna is you also now have an led flash and the five megapixel eyesight camera also at the bottom here is where you attach the strap just by clicking it in you can see the strap gets attached here so the iPod Touch 5th generation is a great little device and it's probably one of the cheapest ways of getting into the iOS platform. The 5 megapixel camera is crystal clear and you also get the time-lapse video in here and 1080p video, obviously 5 megapixel photos and the panel one as well. So this is the best best way to get into the iOS 8 platform and obviously the cheapest way to do that. You also get the filters that you get on the iPhone with a live view so you can just choose whatever filter you want. Again on the camera we have a countdown timer, 3 seconds and 10 seconds. We got HDR and obviously we got the flash on or off, which we'll just quickly turn on so people can see. So it's quite bright. Despite having the old A5 processor and only 512 megabyte of RAM. The iPod Touch is extremely capable and it can launch apps fairly, fairly quick. So you got the calendar launches extremely quick, uh, videos and obviously the App Store where you can get a ton of apps and games. The screen is fantastic. It's not, the viewing angles are much, much better than any other iPod before. As you can see, it's as good as the iPhone with fantastic viewing angles. So let's just play a quick video on YouTube so you can see what sort of quality we get.
so it's quite quite loud as well as you can probably hear There you go. It's also extremely capable while playing games. Let's just grab one. Let's just grab a game that has fairly high graphics so you can see the capabilities of this iPod. So extremely capable of handling the most intensive games. As can be seen in the video. Another thing that it's capable of is obviously browse the internet. So let's just quickly go to the Apple website. It responds quite quick to loading pages. And it's just perfect if you just want something that does not include a phone. The front facing camera is 1.2 megapixels. And as you can see, my camera there and me. So very, very, very good. Also contains the health app. And this app collects all the data. But because this does not have the sensor required, the M7 code processor minimum because obviously there's the M8 now. The M7 it, it doesn't record steps unless you actually get a band that supports the health app. And that is it. I recommend someone looking at the iPod to buy it for their children or for somebody that has a phone like an Android phone and wants to have the iOS platform as well but don't want to lay out or buy an unnecessary device like the iPhone if you already own Android. So it does every pretty much every single thing that the iPhone 5S does, but obviously it's a little bit slower with 512 megabytes of RAM, but with the fast 5 gigahertz wireless and internet, it's just a brilliant little machine for playing games and watching content watching videos, recording voice memos and downloading apps from the App Store. Obviously you've got Game Center as well that is really really good. Maps works beautifully here and you've got a lot of options for quite a low price tag. So that is it for this review. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.